हेलो ऑल दिस इज वपना भावसार टुडे इन माय वीडियो आई विल एक्सप्लेन डीसीएल कमांड्स इन एस क्यू एल डी सी एल स्टैंड फॉर डेटा कंट्रोल लैंग्वेज बिफोर स्टार्टिंग माय वीडियो आई विल रिक्वेस्ट टू दोज हू हैवन सब्सक्राइब टू माय चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब इट एंड जस्ट क्लिक ऑन दिस बेल फॉर नोटिफिकेशन ऑफ न्यू वीडियोज थैंक यू सो मच डी सी एल कमांड्स आर यूज टू कंट्रोल एक्सेस टू डेटा स्टोर इन अ डेटा बेस तो बेसिकली इट इज़ यूज फॉर ऑथराइजेशन पर्पज देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ कमांड्स कम अंडर डी सी एल द फर्स्ट वन इज ग्रैंड एंड द सेकेंड वन इज रिवोक ग्रैंड इज यूज टू अलाउ स्पेसिफाइड यूजर्स टू परफॉर्म स्पेसिफाइड टास्क स्पेसिफाइड टास्क सच एज सिलेक्ट इंसर्ट अपडेट एंड डिलीट वेर एज रिवोक इज यूज टू रिमूव परमिशंस फ्रॉम द यूजर्स सो थ्रू प्रैक्टिकल इम्प्लीमेंटेशन Uh, i will show you how to implement dcl commands using command line prompt i will go to my sql bin folder and here i will type my sql minus u root minus p so when i type root it means i am acting as a admin so here i will enter password so my sql prompt will come i will create database college i will use the database and under this college database i will create one table student with two attributes only because i want to show how to grant permission how to revoke permission so here my table is created i can see the structure of the table here okay so now i will create user so how many users to be created number of users can be created right i will create user using command create user and create user is ddl statement data definition language because we are using create word create user name of the user identified by password so my user is created only one user is created under college database if i want to grant permission to user like which operations can be performed by that user that can be done by using grant command grant select then insert and update i am showing showing you three commands or three operations are granted on which table student table to which user ssb so what does it mean what this command means it means three operations select insert and update are granted on table name student on table student to ssb user so ssb can perform select operation insert operation and update operation on student table and student table is under college database so now here i will show you how ssb will work on these three operations so what is to be done i will quit from this root here instead of root i will type ssb because one user has been created by root here here it will ask for password so i will enter the password so now i am in ssb user i will use that college database and here i will execute command show tables so here friends you can see only one table has been created under college database so ssb user can see student table so three operations can be performed by ssb user so the first one is insert insert into student what are the attributes id and name values 1 abc the second eqr third id is acting as a primary key so we need to insert unique record for id so i have inserted three records 
insert permission was granted even select permission is granted so i can execute select star from student so here you can see select operation is also done successfully update operation is also granted to ssb user so i can execute update command also update what is to be updated table student set if i want to update name name is equal to as or i will say das where id is equal to 1 so here you can see query okay i will execute select star from student so friends here you can see the changes what was the query update student set name is equal to das where id is equal to 1 so from abc it is updated to das so three permission were granted select insert and update now i will execute delete statement delete from student where id is equal to 1 so this command will not be executed by ssb this error will come delete command denied to user ssb for table student right because when ssb user is created only three three operations were granted to ssb that's what delete command could not be executed right so if i say quit and i will go to root command again i will use college database and i will grant delete permission to ssb grant delete on student to ssb so query okay so now again we will check whether delete operation is performed or not so again i will have to quit from root i will go to ssb it will ask password i will enter password i will use college database and i will perform delete operation delete from student before that i will execute select so that we can see the changes select star from student okay so i will uh, delete a particular record delete from student where id is equal to 1 so query okay right if i execute select star from student you can see record number 1 where id is equal to 1 is deleted right so to ssb delete operation or delete permission has had been given by root that's what ssb can delete record from the student table so all four operations can be performed by ssb if root wants to revoke all the permissions from ssb then how, how it will be done that i will show you again we will have to quit from ssb because ssb is one user granting and revoking permissions will be given by root only so again i will enter into root i will enter password i will use college database and then i will revoke permissions from ssb revoke select i will show you two permissions two operations that are revoked from ssb Sil uh, revoke select insert or i will show you insert and delete from on which table student is must to specify on which table the permissions are given revoke insert delete on student from ssb so my query is okay whether the changes are done or not that can be seen from ssb user only so again i will have to quit from root i will enter into ssb it will ask for password i will enter password i will use database and here i will execute select statement select star from student this statement will be executed because this permission is given two operations are removed from ssb insert and delete if i insert record into ss uh, student table 
insert into student id comma name values one comma a b c then inserted because insert operation is revoked from ssb right likewise delete is also revoked so if i execute delete from student aware uh, id is equal to 2 are an error delete command denied to user right so two operations are revoked from ssb right so these are the two commands which i have shown you if i quit from ssb i will go to root i will use college database and here if i want to see how many users are there so i will execute command select user from select user from my sql dot user so here friends you can see ssb is my user abc is also a second user ssb is the user which has been created by root okay so currently there are two users abc and ssb user defined uh, users so root will uh, grant the permission whether a particular user can update records delete records insert records or can uh, uh, fire select statement like this so two op two commands are there under dcl which are used for authorization purpose grant and revoke hope you all have understood my video Thank you so much for watching my video. Thank you so much.